This is a big weekend for football with college bowl games and the final regular season battles in the NFL. But there's another league that's shaking things up this season. This one involves tough female athletes, but instead of suiting up, they're stripping down. ABC's Juju Chang gets up close and very personal for another look at lingerie football. They're tanned, toned, and just as tough as the guys. No, these aren't pro athletes. They're the girls next door, some even moms. I feel really good. I feel like we have the momentum. We it's halftime in a football we locker room. Sit down and shut the f up. Even though they're ahead, their coach is not at all pleased. Get your shit together! That girl's kicking your ass! After 18 years of coaching men, Coach Hack feels the biggest compliment he can pay these ladies is to treat them just like the guys. The worst defense in the league stops you. You guys are much better than this. Defensive back right there, great play. Cuts back across the green. Welcome to the big leagues, the Legends Football League, where ladies dressed in nothing but a bra and booty shorts play football, ground stomping, body bruising football. The Chicago Bliss is part of what league promoters say is the fastest growing sports franchise. But the LFL also has a chorus of critics who accuse them of objectifying women to sell tickets. So is the sport super sexy or just plain sexist? Most football training doesn't include manicures. What do you think of critics who say, oh, well, you know, you're just exploiting skin? I get definitely get why people feel that way, but at the same time, we're serious. It's just the costume. Yashi Rice plays defensive tackle. And Yashi Rice chases her down. None of the players get paid, so her day job? We're going to go through that information together first. Selling life insurance. Her brother, Simeon Rice, played 12 years in the NFL and even won a Super Bowl. Allie Alberts is the wide receiver and a dentist. Her specialty? Periodonture. Allie Alberts made a good play. Too. And brutal hits. You're putting yourself at great physical risk. I really am. And you have already suffered concussions, mm -hmm. and yet you're not compensated at all. Right. I mean, I'm most concerned about my right hand. Like, if I break a finger on this right hand, I really can't do any dentistry. Tight end Jamie Barwick shrugs off the risks. Tell her about when you when you saw me. As a single mom, she wants her seven-year-old son Jackson to see her as tough. Go, mama. So, what kind of message are you sending your son by playing football? Don't be afraid of anything. People always ask why. Why not? I love sports. I love being part of a team. It's 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning, game day. Hey, coffee. Woo! I joined the ladies of the Chicago Bliss on a road trip to do battle with their Midwest rivals, the Green Bay Chill. The Ferrari heading out, about to kick Green Bay ass. They've got a marathon ride to Green Bay ahead of them. The team should spend the ride mapping out their game strategy. But it's hard to focus. Welcome to the gun show. Ladies. This bus feels like a supercharged sorority house. <laughs> I like the downtime. This is a little bit much for me. After years of playing in lingerie, it's clear these women are comfortable in their own skin, wardrobe malfunctions and all. Yeah, I definitely have my top pulled yeah. open. Yeah. yeah. One of those. Yeah. Yeah. After I scored, yeah. grab it. After yeah. I scored, I, you know, yeah. and then I just gave the. I'm like, did you like that? Yeah. I said, do you want to watch some game film and just get back into football mode? Yeah. yeah. yeah just chill. How long is football mode? Three and a half hours. Hey. The bus finally arrives in Green Bay. Shoot you in the house. And I've become their mascot. That's very nice. I like that. We're going to pad you up today, girl. And now it's time to get suited up and dolled up. It looks good. The locker room quickly turns into a beauty salon. One girl do my makeup, one girl do my eyelashes. I put my socks in here. Nice. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> <laughs> and minutes before game time, emotions run high. This is the team I picked to go to war with. Let's do it for us. Let's do it for our fans. As the teams face off, it appears to be more performance than play. And we are back for this monster Midwestern matchup. The Chicago Bliss start off strong, but the rough and tumble of the game is not for the faint of heart. During her first outing, Allie, the dentist, got knocked out cold. Bam! Ashley Salerno absolutely destroys Allie Alberts. We've spent 
hundreds of thousands of dollars training your brain and then you go and get your brain scrambled. <laughs> That was definitely the main argument that my family had, like something you've worked, you know, your whole life towards. You know, why would you do this? And my answer is that I can't not do it. Like, it's, I love it. Finds Alberts in the corner of the end zone. Although the league requires that these women have insurance, the league doesn't pay for it. They're playing on a field half the size of the NFL, but the fear of concussions is ever present, especially since they're wearing almost no padding and tackling with hockey helmets. Bam! Are you concerned that they don't have enough helmet protection? There's a reason why the NHL has far less sustained concussions in the NHL versus the NFL, because once you put them in a football helmet, oftentimes it's used as a weapon. They, they tend to spear one another. These women are smart. If they felt in any way that they weren't protected out here, they wouldn't come back. Although there are higher risks to playing with such little padding, Commissioner Mitch Mortaza says they do it all for the love of the game. But he makes no apologies for the league's business model, that sex sells. We just happen to have an entire league of Tom, Tom Brady's and David Beckham's and Maria Sharapova's. That's the business model. We're very upfront and honest about it. And I think to a degree, that's definitely helped in the marketing of the sport. Observing over the middle. In the second half of the game, the Green Bay Chill mount a comeback. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But in the end, the Chicago Bliss prevail 27 to 18. Victory is sweet. We have successful women on our team. We have mothers on our team. I mean, we're not just football players, there's so much more. With their skimpy outfits and trash-talking ways, these athletes may just be the unlikely vanguard for the new feminine mystique. And this game really lived up to the billing. Next week, L.A. Yes. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in Green Bay, Wisconsin.